What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon, I, I wanna say VGC, but this is more of like a competitive video, since we're talking about the newly announced Pokemon Cleaver. Um, and that's obviously exclusive to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, or what am I saying? Pokemon Legends Arceus. The game with no competitive scene, however, I'm pretty confident at some point it's gonna be transferable into a game with competitive. So, you know, let's take a look at it stat-wise, let's take a look at it uh, typing-wise and figure out what I want it to be if it's gonna be a great competitive Pokemon. And, you know, obviously this is all speculation, however, I think we can actually use some of the evidence from Scizor's uh, evolutionary line to figure out what it's gonna be exactly. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this day and point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's my comment question of the day. What do you think about Cleaver? What stats do you think it's going to have? Do you think it's going to be any good? Do you think it's going to be trash? And do you think we'll ever get to use it in VGC? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So Cleaver is a branched evolution on the Scizor line. That means that Scizor can either evolve, or not Scizor, Scyther can either evolve into Scizor or Cleaver. Now, the interesting thing about the Scyther line is that the base stat total doesn't change between Scyther and Scissor. They both have 500 base stat total. They just sort of rearrange the stats and give it a different typing uh, to make it a bit more competitively viable as an evolution. However, you do see both of them competitive to an extent. Obviously, Scissor is a bit more common than Scyther, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out because it's actually pretty important. I think because of that, we can pretty much guarantee that Cleaver is going to have a base stat total of 500, and we can use Scizor as a base to figure out what Cleaver's stats are. But let's go ahead and start off with Scyther. Let's talk about what it does, what it's known for, and its stats, of course. So Scyther is a bug in flying type Pokemon, meaning it isn't that great defensively. However, it has some pretty nice stats all around. 70 HP, 110 attack, 80 defense, 55 special attack, 80 special defense, and 105 speed. Means that this thing is typically going to be a fast offensive Pokemon. Uh, it likes to run the ability technician uh, because it does increase the power of moves with 60 base power or less by 50%, meaning that Bug Bite with Stab is pretty powerful at 90 base power. Uh, dual Wing Beat ends up becoming a 120 base power move if you land both hits, meaning it's just slightly inaccurate Brave Bird with no recoil. So yeah, uh, Scyther is the fast offensive one of the family, and Scizor, the evolution of it, has its stats shifted around a bit to make it a bit more defensive and slow, but hit a lot harder. I consider it sort of a tank if it weren't for the fact that it gets one shot by fire moves. So I would consider Scyther the slower, harder hitting Pokemon of the family. And I think what we're gonna get with Cleaver is something right in the middle. So Scizor is a bug and steel type, one of the best typings in the game. It has the same ability as Scyther being Technician and Swarm, but Light Metal is the alternative ability it gets as an evolution. Uh, and it has a stat, or I guess a stat spread of 70 HP, 130 attack, 100 defense, 55 special attack, 80 special defense, and 65 speed. So what it does is it actually drops its speed stat uh, from that base 105 to increase its defense to 100 and its attack set to 130. And that's pretty much the only change that happens. Every other stat is pretty much identical. And yeah. Uh, Scizor is also known for using technician moves. Bullet Punch is its main stab. It's a 40 base power steel move uh, that has, you know, priority uh, and is pretty powerful coming off a of technician. Uh, it tends to run dual wing beat and bug bite as other technician moves that it has access to. And occasionally you see it running brutal swing, but it's most known for like Swords Dance Life or Bullet Punch shenanigans. So yeah, using Scizor as a base and Scyther, you know, just get the general idea of the family. I think I have a pretty good idea of what this thing's stats are going to be. What I have here for Cleaver is it's once again going to get Technician because that's consistent throughout the family and it's of course going to have a base stat total of 500, but I've redistributed Scyther's stats to increase this thing's speed a bit since we've seen it being pretty agile in the uh, in-game footage, but I've lowered its defenses and increased its attack. So this thing is the middle ground between Scyther and Scizor uh, being slightly frailer than Scyther or slightly frailer than uh, Scizor, bulkier than Scyther, and hitting harder than both. So. Uh, I guess you consider this thing sort of a glass cannon E Pokemon, but more of a balanced Mon. So, uh, I am giving it 70 HP, 140 attack, 90 defense, 55 special attack, 70 special defense, and 75 speed. Why did I give it this stat and how did I come up with it? So, I took 10 away from the defense and added it to the attack stat uh, because this thing has hatchets for hands. That's why it, it's got hatchets for hands and it's not made of steel. So obviously it's defense wouldn't be quite as high as Scyther. It is a rock though. So, you know, rocks still need to have somewhat usable defense stats. 
Uh, the special defense, I actually lowered to 70 uh, to move those 10 points over to speed. Now, the main reason is uh, while there are Pokemon like Nihiligo and Carbink that exist, uh, rock types aren't known for their special defense. They're more known for the physical defense stat. And of course, this thing is pretty agile in the in-game footage. So I figured I'd give it uh, a bit more speed, but also it sort of needs that to be competitively viable. Uh, if this thing wasn't that fast, its bug in rock typing would sort of let it down. We can see by Pokemon uh, with you know, by Pokemon with like the bug and rock typing in the past, uh, Crustle and Armado, they haven't had the greatest competitive success. Some people have been able to make it work, but bug and rock is a pretty bad defensive typing. Shuckle can make it work, but that's just because it has the highest defenses in the game. And I think that um, accommodating for this bug and rock typing by giving it the ability Solid Rock is another way to make it viable. Uh, Solid Rock would, of course, be an alternative to Technician. It would make you able to take hits a little bit better. Uh, however, I think Technician would be the best ability overall for this thing, considering the moves that it's likely going to get as a rock type. So, as a rock type, there are some busted moves it can get comboed with Technician, mainly Accelerock and Rock Blast. Now, Accelerock is a move exclusive to the Lycanroc family right now. It's basically just rock type bullet punch. It's like the exact same power uh, with less PP. Uh, it's just, yeah, priority contact rock move. Of course, with uh, stab and uh, technician added onto that, it gets boosted to uh, 60 base power and then 90 base power, meaning it's a pretty powerful priority move. One of the most powerful in the game if you accommodate for stab. Uh, rock Blast is even more busted on paper because not only is it boosted by technician, but it has the potential to hit two to five times, two being the minimum, five being the maximum. Now, the two times hit is actually still reliable damage because of technician. It goes from 50 base power in total to 75. And if you hit all five, that is 25 times five times 1.5. That is a 187.5 base power move. And if you accommodate for stab, that goes up even higher to an insane 281 base power. Now, I think this is appropriate because this thing has hatchets for hands. Look at this thing. It's going to hit like a truck. Like, you can't tell me this thing isn't going to be a monster and competitive if you let it get a hit off. Obviously, you know, it's a bit more frail than Scyther, so it's likely going to want to be like a Swords Dance Accelerox set. But Rock Blast as a main stab, that's going to be nasty. If we're able to use this thing competitive, I would want to use this thing. Obviously, as a physical attacker, it is sort of weak in uh, the sense that it can be intimidate spam by Landorus or even Incineroar, which Incineroar hits it for neutral with, you know, Flare Blitz. And of course, this thing can hit Incineroar with like a Rock Blast, but at minus one, I'm pretty sure Incineroar can take that hit since Incineroar can take pretty much anything once. Um... Obviously, you know, bug, rock, it's going to be weak to a lot of common things. Uh, it's going to be weak to water and steel, which are some of the best typings in competitive right now. It wouldn't appreciate taking like a heavy slime from Celesteela or like a muddy water from Tapu Fini. So that's something to watch out for if we ever get to use it. But yeah, I think just accommodating for that with the option to use solid rock and just giving it strong priority like Scizor will mean that it can be a, a force to be reckoned with in competitive. And I think it could be a pretty solid Pokemon. But yeah, I just want to get my thoughts out there for everyone to, you know, listen to. And I'm just excited for this thing. This thing looks really cool. I'm still more excited for Basque Legion, Basque Legion propaganda all the way. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about this Pokemon in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.